One of these gold eagles is not like the other, and it's not the date. Well, yeah, the date is different, but that's not what we're talking about today. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. Happy Halloween to all. These are some truly rare gold eagles that we're gonna talk about today. A lot rarer than proof gold eagles. Up until I purchased one, I never really paid much attention to them because of the price, but they are interesting and we should be talking about them. The burnished gold eagles minted at West Point. At the end, I'll give my opinion on these special gold eagles. The American Gold Eagle program consists of three different versions. I'm gonna show the mintages of the bullion and the proof gold eagles. The bullion and proof versions were introduced immediately in 1986 when the coin series was launched by the US Mint. Initially, only the bullion version had the coins available in all four weights. The proof version expanded to include the half ounce weight in 1987, and again in 1988 to include the quarter ounce and tenth ounce coins. When you look at the mintages of bullion eagles compared to the mintages of proof eagles, it's easy to see why the proof eagles sell for more on the US Mint's website. There are tens of thousands less than the bullion version. There is another sect of gold eagles, the burnished gold eagle, also known as the uncirculated gold eagle. I might use uncirculated and burnished interchangeably in this video, but they are the same thing when discussing coins minted at West Point. Technically, these gold eagles are listed on the US Mint's website as uncirculated. Wait a minute, Campbells. Is there a gold eagle that is circulated? Not really. Since gold coins don't enter public circulation in the same sense as clad pocket change, but there are some gold eagles handled more than others. I mentioned the previous versions of the gold eagle program, but it wasn't until the 20th anniversary of the American Gold Eagle coin series in 2006 that the US Mint expanded the program to include a special burnished coin. These were aimed directly at numismatists who collect and display their American Gold Eagles. During the first three years of production, the burnished Gold Eagles were minted in the one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, and tenth ounce sizes. Then production was interrupted in 2009 and 2010, more than likely due to the Mint focusing all efforts to produce the bullion version during this high demand period. Production resumed in 2011, but only mintage of the one ounce size continued. As you can see, the burnished gold eagle mintage is often tens of thousands less than the proof versions and definitely minuscule numbers compared to the bullion version. These uncirculated gold eagles are minted less, but aside from the W mint mark, they look very similar to regular bullion. Here's what goes into making a burnished eagle. The coin blanks used to make burnished eagles is struck using a special coin process that is similar to the one used in the production of proof coins. The US Mint begins the coining process for burnished e gold eagles by loading all of the blanks known as planchets into a spinning drum. In the past, this step in the process was used with wet sand as a friction agent that served as a polishing media to give the blanks a unique finish before even being struck. Today, the US Mint uses countless six millimeter balls to create a smooth, matte-like finish on the surface of the blanks. Once each blank has been sent through the spinning drum, the individual blanks are taken out one at a time by Mint employees using white gloves. The blanks are transferred by hand, wearing gloves, to the coining press in order to avoid contaminating the finish of the blanks with oil and dirt from human skin. Each blank is then hand-loaded into the coining press for striking. All blanks are struck under greater pressure than bullion coins, a regular circulated currency, creating a striking finish. While the burnished American Gold Eagle goes under a similar coining process to proof coins, the appearance of these coins is often compared more closely to that of the bullion coin in the series. The massive difference being the polishing that happens with the proof coin dies, giving the proof coin a frosty finish with deeply mirrored background. The major distinguishing characteristic for the casual observer between the bullion version and the burnished is the presence of a mint mark on the burnished gold eagle. While the bullion coins do not feature a mint mark, all burnished gold eagles have a W mint mark to identify the West Point mint as the production facility. 
So what else are you getting for $2,500, $2,600? Because that's what these coins cost. After each coin passes inspection, it is encapsulated in plastic at the US Mint. Each of the burnished gold eagles is then placed into a protective outer box and shipped to distributors with a COA. This level of care and quality inspection is reserved specifically for the burnished American gold eagle. If the W wasn't on the coin, would you be able to spot the differences? It's very slight. I can tell the burnished gold eagle has been handled a lot less than my bullion coin, but if I got an MS70 bullion gold eagle and compared it to this burnished coin, could I tell the difference? My point is the finish on these isn't that much different. That being said, the burnished eagles should have a sharper strike compared to the BU eagles. This is because the burnished eagles are struck harder and the die isn't wearing out as much as the dies for the BU eagles simply from volume. I also don't know how often these dies are swapped out in the minting process for any of the finished versions. I imagine with today's technology, the dies made today don't wear as much as those in the past. The strike doesn't appear to be that much stronger compared to the bullion version. They do such a great job with the bullion strikes, it's hard to get any sharper. Why would you want these burnished gold eagles when they cost anywhere from $800 to $1,000 over spot? Well, if you get them graded, those which grade a MS70 tend to go up in value. If you value low mintage items, these coins are right up your alley. Since 2011, there hasn't been a burnished mintage over 9,000. The 2021 Type 2 is the highest mintage since 2008 with 8,914 minted. Would I buy these at US Mint prices? I'm gonna have to go with a hard no. I really like that these are all low mintages, but the claims for it, I'm just not seeing. I don't see a sharper strike. I don't see a distinct look. Atmex has a description saying it has a distinct look and feel. I'm not seeing a different look and I can't speak to the feel, but I really doubt it's going to feel any different from a bullion gold eagle. I think the biggest selling point for these coins is the planchets going through a special process to give the blanks a different look. The blanks are individually handled by gloved workers from the special process to the minting of the coin. So if you want a gold eagle which is specially handled, the burnished eagle is for you. I think a lot of people see this already, or should I say, don't see much of a difference with the bullion and burnished coins, and that's why we see such low mintages for them. I only have this one because my LCS had one for the same price as the bullion eagles. If you can find one for the same price as bullion, I would say go for it. But if not, it's your money. Do what you want to do anyways. Your time is your most precious asset, and I appreciate you spending it here with me. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.